what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A woman who claims that staff at Universal's Islands of Adventure humiliated her by refusing to accommodate her size has filed a discrimination complaint with the Florida Commission on Human Relations. Angel Morales says that it all went down at the Orlando Amusement Park Skull Island Ring of Kong ride. She says she was unable to enjoy it because the employees allegedly declined her request to make room by having one fewer persons in her role. She said a worker on the ride told her they needed to push for capacity. She said that it's somewhat humiliating to have to ask for an accommodation because of one's weight, that you have to put yourself out there and kind of beg to be able to ride and embarrass yourself because of your weight. She said, I couldn't fit on any of the Harry Potter rides because of my weight. I did a lot of bag holding and Diagon Alley and that kind of thing. They're interested in getting bodies and getting money and not accommodating paying customers. That's how I felt, she said. Okay, so it should be noted that Universal's Islands of Adventure doesn't have a maximum weight restriction, but some rides have been flagged for causing issues with larger visitors. Also, Morales said that the park offered her $100, a gift card of $100, and dinner and movie tickets. But that wasn't enough. She said, I need to take it further. They playing games with my life. Well, she didn't say all of that, but <laughs> hey, what's a little drama? Okay, my thoughts here. This is not a fat shaming thing. This is a security issue. This is a safety issue. You have people who are tall who can't fit certain rides. There are people who are too short to safely ride certain types of rides. So they're not discriminating against you, Angel. They're following safety protocol. I'm all for equality. I'm all for riding for the people who are being mistreated. But this is not fast shaming. This is becoming aware of fat realities. Airlines don't give people two seats for the price of one either. You see? So she was not denied access to the ride. Her request to not squeeze others is what was denied. If I got some type of anxiety or phobia about sitting too close to somebody, would it be unreasonable for me to request a row all to myself on a ride? Of course it would. Just like her request was unreasonable. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?